A couple of days ago, I introduced a new character on the show. Scott the Engineer had pitched uh, Bailey the Bedbug. I, I, I don't know if people remember that. Yes. Yeah, if you were listening, Scott the Engineer was quite taken with himself. Um, he went to one of the writer meetings. He goes to all of them. Nobody knows why. Scott! But he was there, <laughs> and he pitched to the guys a character called Bailey the Bedbug, who is essentially very upset that bedbugs are really out of the news because of things like Ebola. Yes. And the guys, being who they are, because everyone supports one another, they immediately told Scott it's a great idea and he should go record Bailey the Bedbug. Because they knew it would be a disaster. <laughs> and Scott worked on it for three days. And I played you Bailey the Bedbug and it was really awful. <laughs> and yet they're telling me Scott's really fucking excited because Bailey the Bedbug did get on the air. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And Scott had even created a Bailey the Bedbug Twitter account. And wished him, and said on the Bailey the Bedbug Twitter account how great Scott is. <laughs> well, they're a mutual admiration society. Uh, Scott went back and cut a voice, <laughs> a fake voicemail from Bailey the Bedbug. Hey, this is Bailey the Bedbug. So you fucks finally got the message that us bedbugs will not be going away. We love those expensive swanky hotels, but we really love those cheap dives where they don't clean the sheets for years. And when all that goo seeps into the mattress, it's like bed bug heaven. Oh, it's it's so bad and so boring and such so dull like Scott. It's an amazing bit. <laughs> we uh, we had fun with Bailey the Bedbug. We cut up his bit. Oh yeah. And we called that live with Kathy show. Okay. Whatever that is. On the internet. Live with Kathy. Yeah, we've talked to Kathy before. Yeah, she's definitely one of our favorites because <laughs> she gets very worked up. So we had we, we incorporated tape of Bailey the Bedbug. Okay. Yeah, this is this actually is fun. Now I'm going to take this call. I do hope it relates to all of the greatest gifts that we all have. Welcome to Live with Kathy. Who do I have the pleasure of talking with? Hi, Kathy. Ralph Sorella. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm very good. Um, I'm here with my uncle Bailey. You know, he's 65. He's listened to you for a few years now, and you inspired him to go into voice work recently. Voiceover? Be still my heart. Now, I do hope yeah. that this is going to be inspiring for everyone and that I don't have to click you off. Absolutely. He voices a, a very popular children's character now called Bailey the Bedbug. Huh. May I speak with Bailey? Hey, this is Bailey the Bedbug. Well, then, well, what, how did you find me? We're everywhere. We're in the sleaziest motels for the best five-star hotels. I know, but how did, how, what led you to, to my show when there are a gazillion out there, Bailey? Subway, restaurant. Uh, By Bailey? The way, if I was you, I'd be careful the next time you sit your flabby ass at a movie theater. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to talk about this. I heard something that maybe I'm not too crazy about. But in any event, it's nice to know that there are people who are following me. But, darling listeners, I'll keep you posted on whether Bailey and I resonate. Now, I'm going to go to 631. Hi there. I'm really pissed at you and all the media. Uh, Bailey. Ever since this Ebola shit has started, oh. you don't even mention us anymore. What the fuck? <sighs> Those that called in, I took down your telephone number. Uh-oh. And trust me, I will not put you on the air again. Salami, sir. That incrimination is shame on you. You're rather disgusting. Now, let's see what you have. Hello? <coughs> Uh-oh. That's Ross for the bedbug dog. I gotta go. Bye for now. Get a life. Will you please get a life? Rusty. I'm going to take this final call. We don't have much time left. Hello there. You're listening to Live with Kathy. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Shame on all of you that called in today. Yeah. But you know what? I don't want you in my life. What you said did not resonate with what I have to say. I found you disgusting, to be perfectly honest. So please, know that I will not take your call again. It wasn't a gift or an expression of value. You brought shame to the family name. She's like American royalty. Like, that whole affect is pretty wild, right? Yeah. Like, remember those movies in the 50s? And, like, like women, like, like, uh, like Catherine Hepburn, like, you brought shame to the entire family. Yeah. You know, it's like, like who, wh what? What family? Yeah, what family? Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> there is no family. You're on the internet doing a radio show, and we're the only ones calling or listening.